In this MapSuite MVC Edition sample app walkthrough, we're going to show you how to get the distance between two points on a map. Um, here we've got our basic map we're using the World Map Kit background. And if I go ahead and click, we'll see that one point is displayed. And if I click another point here on the other side of the US, we've now drawn a line and then shown a little pop up with the distance between these two points. So this could be useful if you want to do some distance measurements or give your users the ability to calculate the distance between two points. So let's take a look at the code to see how this uh, application um, works. To start out, let's take a look at the controller source. And so this is uh, the code that executes when the page is loaded or the application is loaded. So the first part is we're just setting up our map, the size, uh, setting the current extent, the map unit. Then we're going to add our world map kit as our background map. Then the next thing we're going to do is uh, create an in-memory feature layer that's going to contain our points where the user clicks. So we're going to define our style here that's going to be red and a size 8 and a type of circle. So when we do click, this is where those points will be added to is this in-memory feature layer. We're also going to create another in-memory feature layer with our line shape that will connect the two points. And we're going to give it a color or style of red as well and a width of 3. And all of these are going to be displayed at all zoom levels, so we want to show them. Uh, down here, uh, we're just creating a new layer overlay. And we're going to say it's not a base overlay. We're going to make it single tile. And we're going to go ahead and add those in-memory uh, feature layers that we created up here to that dynamic overlay and add that to the map. Additionally, we're going to go ahead and add a new cloud pop-up for information and we're going to make it auto size but turn its visibility off for now until we actually have two points and have a distance to calculate. So that's what happens when the map loads. So let's go back to the view source and see what happens actually when the user clicks on the map. So one thing to be aware of is that we've registered um, the on client click event here on the map. So when the user clicks on that, this map click routine is going to be called, which is this JavaScript function right here. And so the first thing that happens uh, when we come in here is we get a reference to the info pop-up that we defined when the map when the sample app loaded. And then we go ahead and set the uh, um, the longitude and latitude of that pop-up to where the last place the user clicked. So that way if we do display it, it'll display in the, the location where the user last clicked. The next thing we need to do is do an AJAX callback to the server. So we're going to do that by using the AJAX call action method off of the map and we're going to tell it what controller we want and what uh, method we want to call on that controller. Additionally, we're going to pass in the longitude and latitude values that we got passed into the event argument where the user clicked. And uh, once we're done, we're going to want to, on the server side, we're going to want to redraw that dynamic overlay so we display our points and lines and also um, if there is content HTML, we're going to want to show the, uh, um, show the new pop-up at that location where the user clicked. So let's go to the server side and see uh, how we're adding these points to the in-memory feature layers and how we're actually doing the distance calculation. So to do that, we're going to go back to the view source here. And we're going to take a look at the get distance method. And uh, what we're doing here is we're creating a new point shape based upon the arguments passed into this routine from the client side. We're going to get a reference to our dynamic overlay on the map. We're going to get a reference to our point shape layer that we have on the map. And we're going to get a reference to our line shape layer on the map. Then we're going to create a new point based upon uh, where the user clicked. And uh, down here, we're going to see if we've already had a start point. If we haven't, then we're going to clear, um, um, clear all of our uh, features and start over so we have a brand new set of uh, points for for it. So if you click again, your third point will reset it and make that the new start point. Then we're going to go ahead and add the new point to our point shape layer. And then down here, we're going to start to uh, um, identify our string that's going to contain our uh, pop-up content HTML. And if it's not our start point, that's where we're going to do our distance calculation. So if it's not our start point, this is the second time the user clicked and we have another point. We're going to get our original start point back out of the session object. And then we're going to get a, uh, another point. We're actually going to create a line here by calling start point get shortest line to our new point shape. So uh, if this is the second one that's been clicked, we have our start point where we clicked. We're going to call a get shortest line method, passing in the new point where the user clicked. And that's going to return our line connecting the two. And that's going to be the shortest line between those two points. Once we have that, we're going to go ahead and create a new feature 
Um, this will be a line feature based upon that line shape. And then we're going to get a distance value uh, because on this line we can do the line.getLength method. And within that method we just need to pass it in, you know, what our map unit is. And then also what distance we want back. So in this case we want miles, but you could also do feet, meters, kilometers, etc. And so we're doing that, and that's what's uh, building up our distance value here and you know our HTML around that so to display nicely in our pop-up and then we add that line feature to our uh, our line shape layer we set our uh, pop-up content HTML based upon the string we created here and then we null back out the start point in case they click again and then finally we just return that pop-up content HTML back to the client and what we get is the end result here where we have our two points that were clicked the shortest line and then the distance return to be displayed in the pop-up accordingly. So I hope this sample app gives you a good idea of how you can get some, uh, do some simple distance calculations and display that on the map. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us, or you can post your questions directly to our discussion forums at thinkgeo.com forums. Thank you for watching.